In an emergency, paramedic Gary Schott is there. And it was experience on the job that saved his life. I have seen heart failure hundreds and hundreds of times. I've, I've treated people in heart failure, treated people that couldn't breathe. So I knew the signs and symptoms um, quite clearly. When Gary woke up with those symptoms seven years ago, he knew it was coming. There's a strong history of heart disease on my father's side. Uh, my father uh, actually died of the same procedure I had when he was 52 years old. He died of uh, congestive heart failure. Gary made it through his triple bypass. So you've been feeling well? I'm feeling excellent. And came into the care of cardiologist Fran Wolf. My first question to him was, am I going to die? And I remember he, he took a, a, a moment of pause. He looked at me right, he sat forward, looked at me right in the eyes. He goes, no, we will get through this. We. We, keyword. Uh, that really touched me. Gary's, uh, from the get-go, is sort of a predictable case in the sense that in his 50s he developed heart disease, symptomatic, um, and his cholesterol was relatively high, but his good cholesterol, or this so-called HDL, was very low. It was in the 20s, and that put him at an extraordinary high risk of developing heart disease, which he did. So Dr. Wolf and Gary set out to change those numbers together. The plan of action is to get his HDL um, up if we can, maybe adjusting his medicine, increasing or changing his exercise pattern, but pushing his LDL lower. Dr. Wolf was, was relentless. He would not stop until he got my cholesterol uh, in the best shape it's ever been. It took him years of work, but he got it under control. And in those years... It's a big year coming up for you. It's going to be 60 this six year, zero huh? coming the up. Big they six talked zero. about more than medical matters. He's a cool dude. <laughs> he is. He's a very easy guy to take care of. He's not only my doctor, but I consider him my friend. A friendship that'll keep Gary on the job, saving lives. I don't plan on retiring. Uh, I plan on going as long as I can.